Hello photographers, today I want to show you how to import RAW files to your iPad. And then once you have them on your iPad, how to get them into Lightroom for iPad and how to get them out of your camera roll so you don't have photos littered all over the place. Now to start, you need to somehow be able to get the photos off the card into the iPad. And for that you need an adapter. Now I'm using an iPad Pro with the USB-C port. However, this also works with lightning based iPads. You just need the right adapter. For me, I'm using this USB-C Anchor SD card reader that I can plug right into my iPad. If you have a Lightning iPad, get this adapter from Apple right here and you'll be able to download your images no problem. Once you have your adapter, plug your card into your adapter and then of course you need to plug that adapter into the iPad itself. And when you do, the iPad will automatically bring up an import screen showing you the images that are on the card. And you can do one of two things here. You can either select individual photos that you might want to import, or you can just hit the import option and choose to import all. Now I'm going to select the last one in the top row and just import the selected images. And as you see, it adds these check marks across them. It shows that they're imported. And then it asks you if you want to delete or keep the images on the memory card itself. I personally always choose to keep the images on the memory card just in case something goes wrong. So I'm gonna hit keep. And once that's done, you can just unplug the card reader and the Photos app goes back to the main screen and you can see you have these new images that have been imported from your memory card. Now, these are the RAW files. Here in the camera roll, you can't really tell that they're RAW files, but once you import into Lightroom, you will see that. So let's do that next. We're going to close the Photos app and we're going to go into Lightroom. And the import process here is also pretty straightforward. From wherever you are, we have these little icons down in the corner, one with the plus next to the image and then the camera. We wanna hit the plus next to the image to import from the camera roll. And when we do that, you can see those images running across the top there, all of them with the raw icon on them, letting us know that these are raw files. And I just swipe across these to select the group that I wanna import, and then I can choose add five photos, and then they import into Lightroom. Now, where did they import? They just import into Lightroom, and you can see them in one of two places. You can go here to the recently added option, where you'll see the two here, and then over here in the corner, there's this little five with the disclosure triangle. And if I tap that to open it, it shows me all five of these images that I imported. And from here, I can actually organize them into albums. I can hold to select, and then I can tap to select the rest of these, and then I can hit add to down here, and I could choose an album. Either way, we now have these in Lightroom. And once they're in Lightroom, you now have to decide what you wanna do with the images that are in your camera roll. But real quick before we do that, I just wanted to take a moment and let you know that I spent a ton of time and effort making these videos, and any support in getting that done would be greatly appreciated. You can join my Patreon at this link right here to show your support for these videos. I don't like to leave these images in my camera roll, so I would delete them. And to do that, you just hit the select option, and then you select all of your raw files that you just imported into Lightroom, and then you can choose delete, delete five photos, boom, they're gone. Now I know what you're thinking. God, this is super annoying. Why can't I just import them straight into Lightroom? That would be so much easier. Right now we can't. That may change in the future, but for right now, the only way to import your images directly to the iPad is to import them to the Photos app first and then from the Photos app to import them into Lightroom. However, you can simplify this process. I actually made a video showing you how to automate part of these processes so that you can automatically grab your images from the camera roll, automatically import them into Lightroom, and automatically delete them from your camera roll once they've been imported into Lightroom. If you wanna learn how to do that, you can check out this video right here. Now, if you shoot RAW and JPEG together, there's something that you need to know, which is that in some cases, with some versions of iOS on some iPads, it may only import JPEGs and ignore the RAW files. Just be aware of this, and if you find that when you're trying to import, you're only getting the JPEGs, you're going to need to either stop shooting in RAW and JPEG, or take that memory card to a computer and delete the JPEGs off of it before you'll be able to get those RAW files to import to the iPad. Now I've got a question for you. Please leave a comment and let me know which iPad you're using and how much photo editing you're doing on your iPad. I'm actually doing all of my photo editing, which includes RAW edits and full compositing and retouching on my iPad. And I'm going to be making more tutorials about this. So if there's something you wanna know about the editing process on an iPad, also leave a comment with that. And if you wanna automate
automate this import process, make sure to check this video out right here. And then don't forget to like this video and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. And then get out there and take some damn photos. And we're going to choose the import from the camera roll and can grab the raw images.